Hi, my name is Narayan Janakiram. I am the director of Royal Pearl Group of Hospitals. Royal Pearl Group of Hospitals is a 35 year old concern and uh, we are one of the pioneers in ENT surgery. Ear, nose, throat. Of course, I also do skull based surgery. I am going to start a series of lectures for awareness in ENT. This will be a continuous program for to educate people about ENT problems. This is purely for educational purposes. So, you will get videos continuously. Please subscribe to this channel. Ear fungus. Many patients come to us saying that, Doctor, I have severe itching. I am not able to hear properly. I have pain. If they come like that, first of all, I examine the ear with an endoscope. Here, all the examination is done with an endoscope. In fact, I am going to show you an endoscopic picture, how the fungus looks like. You can see it now. Immediately, the patient will ask, what is the cause for fungus to come into my ear, doctor? I am just giving you an example. You keep a bread loaf dipped in water for some time outside, maybe one or two days. Immediately, there will be fungus, black mold. It is called uh, bread mold. Same thing happens in the ear. So, if there is water going into the ear, it can turn into fungus. This is the first reason. So, you should not introduce water into the ear. It is very common among swimming uh, people or diabetics. If the patient is a diabetic, he can develop fungus. Third, if there is a perforation in the eardrum and usually what happens? Many people take drops from medical shops and they pour it. They will develop fungus. You should not put steroid drops. If you put steroid drops, they will have fungus. So, once you have fungus, how do we treat it? What we do is we do what is called suction clearance. We hardly syringe. So, some people hit water into the ear. We generally do not do that. Of course, it is being practiced elsewhere, but we never introduce water. We do not put a syringe and hit. We do suction clearance. We suck that fungus completely. Once we suck, we can see the eardrum. Some people have a perforation in the eardrum. If you have a perforation, then we will have to treat the perforation along with the fungus. If you have diabetes, then we have to treat diabetes. Now, some patients come to me and say, Doctor, I have this fungus repeatedly, what to do? So, first of all, if you are a diabetic, you have to get treated, only then the fungus will go. Well, even if it comes back again and again, repeatedly suck the ear. For some people, we also give antifungal treatment. Uh, usually, it gets cured, three or four visits, it gets cured. So, these are all the causes for ear fungus. So, what you should do? Do not introduce water into the ear, treat your diabetes. Third is, if there is a perforation in the eardrum, go to a ENT doctor and get treated and these are all the things you can do. So, I am sure that you will like these, this whole series of uh, videos which I am going to post every day. Please subscribe to this channel and press a like button. Thank you very much.